What's up guys, I'm BTC. The Overwatch Anniversary event is finally here. You can now get every single character skin from all previous events, including a whole bunch of new ones. So we're gonna check out all the new stuff that was just added in this event. I know most of you guys have seen all the character skins because of the leaks, but they also added some other stuff, new emotes, victory poses, and voice lines for every character. So we're going to run through all of that. Also, there is a new loot box that everyone gets just for logging in. It's the Legendary Anniversary Loot Box. And inside here is a guaranteed Legendary. I'm going to open mine at the end of this video. So for most of the characters, the only thing they got was one new voice line. So we're going to run through all of those. So for example, Ana, like no new skins, emotes, victory poses, sprays, highlight intros, nothing. All she got was a new voice line. And also for the sprays, they didn't add any new general use sprays. Those are the ones that all the characters can use. Because the only one that we have here is the anniversary one that is locked. And that was from last year. So... Let's run through all of the new voice lines. You need to learn to relax. It's just a flesh wound. Leave this to an expert. Ingen kopoisen. No problem. Take it on the chin. I might lose, but you can't win. I find your lack of belief troubling. You need a healing. You do not want to rouse the dragon. Inconspicuous. Can you hear me now? How do you like me now? Wake up, sleepyhead. I've seen worse. Good news, everyone. This was a triumph. Unbelievable. I have a bad feeling about this. Stay on target. Pathetic. Come here! That's my business, and business is good. You want something done right? You gotta do it yourself. Let's not do that again. Let us discuss your failures. Now, why didn't I think of that? I knew I forgot something. Tout le plaisir est pour moi. Can't keep a good ape down. Let's get physical. Patience. I'm sure you guys noticed a ton of pop culture references. Almost every single one of them was pulled from something else like Star Wars or Game of Thrones or something like that. So let's go over the new character skin. So for Bastion, he's got the stealth character skin, which looks almost exactly like Shockwave from the Decepticons. And this skin just looks awesome. Brigitte got a brand new legendary, a little surprised because she's a new character and usually they don't get a new legendary this fast. Also the gold weapon looks amazing with this character skin. A lot of times the gold weapon will kind of clash with what the skin looks like, but this just fits really, really well. So you have this right here that looks awesome. And then of course the shield, which also looks amazing. She got a new dance emote as well. And she also got a spray, which is the Eight of Spades. Doomfist also got a Legendary. This one looks pretty awesome. It's kind of simplistic, but it's just very cool looking skin. Like, uh, that's the whole kind of theme that they were going for, just making him look cool. I actually like the way that they made the Doomfist gauntlet look in this as well. It looks really good. And then he also got a new emote, which is the Dance. Probably a little bit more silly than you would expect Doomfist to have, but there it is. And then he also got a spray, since he's a new character, and he is the Nine of Clubs. Junkrat got a new legendary. This is the Buccaneer. We already saw this. This was the very first teased skin from the new event. And his weapon looks really cool here. It's got the little map on it, lots of the little skulls and stuff. And then the little remote has the uh, the wheel 
the ship wheel. It's X marks the spot. And then they really don't change much with the steel trap because, I mean, I don't think they really can. They just kind of change the color a little bit. And then, of course, the rip tire also looks pretty awesome. You got the map on the background, the skull, lots of the, the spikes and the cutlass that kind of sticking through it and stuff. Lucio got a brand new skin, but this is an epic. And you can see his glasses have the little digital theme. It's kind of the same on his chest, but you can't really see it because his arms are folded over it, though. And then his weapon as well. Again, it's an epic, so it's going to more closely resemble what the normal skin would look like. McCree also got a legendary. It is the Sherlock one. I was expecting him to get something like Indiana Jones to kind of go along with the new Petra map that we just got, but they gave us Sherlock, which is still a pretty awesome looking skin. By the way, his belt buckle says asks, like he asks for information because he's a detective. So that's what that is. And then for his weapon, that also looks pretty cool. I like the little kind of lenses that he's using for the sights. That looks pretty awesome. It's a nice little detail to it. Moira was one of the characters that got a brand new dance. I have absolutely no idea what this is called. Apparently it's taken from like an internet video somewhere. <laughs> so that's her dance. It's kind of like all over the place. And then for the spray, she is the Nine of Hearts. Arissa got an amazing looking character skin. So this is a new legendary for her. And this is probably the best character skin that Arissa has ever gotten. And then here is the weapon. That just looks awesome. Soldier 76 got an epic skin. This is the Venom 76 skin. And it looks so much like... Cobra from G.I. Joe. That's all I can think of when I see this. So again, with all the epics, it's based on the default. So there's not too much that's going to change in design-wise. It's just lots of different colors and maybe some little extra details and stuff. Still a pretty cool looking skin. Definitely an awesome one for an epic. Symmetra also got a legendary. This is Magician. It's pretty awesome looking. Really surprised she got this though because last year she got Oasis, which is also a really good looking character skin. So Magician is this one, and I think this is supposed to be based off of Zatanna. It's a character from the DC Comics. So you can see like the arm is see-through and all that sort of stuff. Looks pretty nice. And then let's check out the other stuff. So here is the weapon. You can see the like the little magic wands and stuff that are kind of focusing on the center. The little turret also has a little magic wand. And then the teleporter, which is going to be changed very quickly with the rework. And the shield gen, which is going to be completely gone with the rework. So enjoy it now because it's going to be gone pretty soon. Torbjorn also got a pretty nice looking legendary. This is supposed to be his cyborg one. And it looks really awesome. So if you notice, the feet are basically the same ones that are used for the Omnics, like Bastion and Orisa in a bunch of their character models. So it's kind of neat that they took that and put it on Torbjorn. And then, of course, his weapons. You've got that. And then his hammer. And the turret. And the armor pack, of course. Unfortunately, it doesn't show the upgraded versions of the turret. It would be kind of neat if they did that. Tracer also got a character skin. This is an epic, and it is easily one of the worst character skins they've ever added to the game. Here's what the weapon looks like. And she also got a new victory pose, which is this one right here. So it's just the wink. Mercy also got a little extra with the victory pose. It's Parasol. So this is almost exactly like the emote she has. It's just the victory pose version of it. Now let's go check out what I got in my loot box. And again, this is guaranteed legendary. Hopefully it's going to be something good. Ready? Here we go. Three, two. 
If it feels like there really wasn't that many new items, it's because the first year they tend to add a little over a hundred new things. And then the follow-up year, they usually only add about 50 new items, so that's why. But again, all of the other stuff is now available as well, so all the other events. But what item was your favorite from this event? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. The links for that stuff are down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.